Good morning, students. Here we come up with the gross anatomy lecture of the movements and mechanism of knee joint, muscles producing movement, and relations of the knee joint. So, therefore, the title will be movements oblique mechanism of the knee joint, then muscles producing movements, and the relations of knee joint. Now, in the movements and mechanism, the first we are going to discuss about extension. So please note down this extension of the knee joint will be carried in the vertical axis and it will be extended, the knee joint will be extended in such a way that the thigh and the leg will be in the same vertical axis. Moreover, there will be 5 to 10 degrees of extension beyond the vertical axis. This is very important. So the extension can go, it can extend 5 to 10 degrees beyond the vertical axis of the thigh and the leg. Second, flexion. Now in flexion of the knee joint, there will be 120 degrees of flexion of the knee joint in cases of extended hip joint. So in cases of extended hip joint, 120 degrees of flexion. 120 degrees of flexion. In case of flexed hip joint, please note down, this is asking one mark question answers or in MCQs. In cases of flexed hip joint, this flexion can extend till 140 degrees. In cases of flexed hip joint, the flexion of knee joint can extend till 140 degrees. In cases of extended hip joint, the flexion of knee joint will be 120 degrees. But in cases of flexed hip joint, the flexion of the knee joint will be 140 degrees. So flexion of knee joint in cases of extended hip joint will be 120 degrees. Once again, flexion of the knee joint in cases of flexed hip joint will be 140 degrees. Then we come to medial and lateral rotation. Medial and lateral rotations, they are known by the terminology as conjunct and adjunct rotations. So please note down, conjunct rotation as well as adjunct rotation. The two terminologies, we are quite familiar in general anatomy. Now, conjunct rotations of the knee joint will take place between the condyles of femur and condyles of tibia. And this conjunct rotation will take place during the normal movements of flexion as well as extension of knee joint. So conjunct movements will take place during flexion and extension of the knee joint. And the range of these movements will be around 20 degrees. It will be around 20 degrees. And what are the reasons for this conjunct rotation? The reasons of this conjunct rotation will be geometry of the articular surfaces. Geometry of articular surfaces of the condyles of paper and tibia during the normal movements of flexion extension. Second, adjunct rotation. Adjunct rotations will take place because of the contraction of various muscles which are surrounding the knee joint. Therefore, these adjunct rotations, the range will be from 40 degrees, it can extend till 70 degrees. Adjunct rotations. And normally these adjunct rotations take place in which position of the knee joint? Semiflex position of the knee joint. In semiflex position of the knee joint, the adjunct rotations will take place. And that will be because of the contraction of the muscles which are surrounding the knee joint and the range will be 40 degrees to 70 degrees. Finally, we come across to locking movements and unlocking movements. <coughs> this question is many a times asked as one more question answer. What are locking movements of knee joint? What are unlocking movements of the knee joint? So, the locking movements, first we will describe locking then unlocking. The last 30 degrees of extension of the knee joint involves the locking movement of the knee joint. That is known as the locking movement of the knee joint. 
that will be the last 30 degrees of extension that is first point second point will be what will happen exactly in locking so please note down in the last 30 degrees of extension in locking movement there will be backward and medial rotation of the medial femoral condyle so there will be backward and medial rotation down arrows for backward and medial rotation of medial femoral condyle along with along with medial meniscus along with medial meniscus very important movement as a result of which the lateral femoral condyle along with lateral meniscus will move forwards so there will be this arrow is forwards forward movement of lateral femoral condyle along with lateral meniscus These two moments you should remember, this is, these are the two moments which are taking place in cases of last 30 degrees of extension which are known as locking of the knee joint. So there will be the backwards and medial moment of medial femoral condyle along with the medial meniscus and there will be the forward movements of the lateral femoral condyle along with the lateral meniscus. Locking is produced. Now unlocking, what is unlocking? The initial degrees of flexion, initial degrees of flexion from extended knee joint is known as unlocking. What is the mechanism? Reverse of this mechanism will be unlocking. Therefore, what will happen will be the medial femoral condyle <coughs> will move laterally. So, there will be lateral L lateral movement of medial femoral condyle along with medial meniscus along with medial meniscus and what will happen to the lateral femoral condyle the lateral femoral condyle along with lateral meniscus will move backwards so there will be now here this arrow will be backwards backwards movement of what lateral femoral condyle along with lateral meniscus these two movements will take place in the initial degrees of flexion of knee joint from fully extended knee joint and these two movements are produced by initiated by none other than popliteus muscle because of this reason the popliteus muscle is known as the unlocker of the knee joint. One more question answer. Which muscle is unlocker of the knee joint? Popliteus muscle is known as the unlocker of the knee joint because it will produce these movements in the initial degrees of flexion. And therefore these movements produced by popliteus will be known as unlocking of the knee joint during the initial stages of flexion of the knee joint. So therefore, these two concepts are locking mechanism of the knee joint and unlocking mechanism of the knee joint. This much you need to understand in movements and mechanism. So these are the points in movements and mechanism of the knee joint. Please try and understand. Now second important point. What are the muscles which are regulating the movements? Muscles which regulate the movements will be, we come on this side. What are the muscles that produce the movements? So first, there will be extension. Extension is produced by quadriceps femoris muscle, the entire quadriceps femoris group, quadriceps femoris group. Second, flexion. Flexion is initiated by which muscle? Popliteus, unlocker. And along with that flexion, after initiation by popliteus, it is maintained by semimembranosus semitendinosus, biceps femoris, etc. Then we come across to medial rotation. Medial rotation is done by <coughs> semimembranosus, semitendinosus. So semimembranosus, semitendinosus, 
will be medial rotation. And then we come across to lateral rotation. Lateral rotation will be done by biceps femoris muscle. So these are the muscles which produce the actions of the knee joint. Then we come to the last relations. So for the relations we come on this side, please come on this side, relations anteriorly the knee joint is related with we know the quadriceps femoris tendon and patella. Posteriorly the entire knee joint is related with popliteal nose vessels gastronemius medial and lateral head. So gastronemius muscle both medial and lateral head, posterior relation. Anteromedially, it is related with medial patellar retinacula, medial patellar retinacula, anteromedially. Anterolaterally, it is related with lateral patellar retina Cula. Same way, posterior medially, the entire knee joint is related with semimembranosus, semitendinosus. This, this is the posterior medial. And posterior laterally, it will be related with biceps. Femoris muscle. These are the relations of knee joint. So here we finish the movements and mechanism, then the muscles producing movements of knee joint and the relations of knee joint. Thank you very much.